I was jamming with the J. Hey you guys, how you doing? Left my Marty McFly jacket at home. I actually do have one. We're Desi and Cody. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out late, sticking around. Let's hear it again for Jacob Jones and Dan Martin and Mike Hopper tonight. <laughs> This one's a new one. Um, it's called The Oracle.
心。It's nerve wracking as having to see, sing a song after you just sang that song. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>
favorite. I've been um, out of commission for about two years there. For a while, I was I was kind of lost in, lost in space, if you know what I mean. And I came home to my hometown of Little Guy, and I saw the baseball field. I used to play baseball on, and it reminded me of how I could be happy without all that shit, you know. And then I wrote that song. <laughs> This next song is about owl decorations. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Desi has a lot of owls in our house. None of them living. Most of them made of Hopefully pewter or wood. Living. Sometimes bone. Uh, we were snowed in. And uh, you know, you write what you know. And all I knew at that point was batshit crazy and owls. And Yahtzee. I'm surprised you didn't write a song about Yahtzee. I, I forgot okay. to fit Yahtzee into the song or something like that. But it's, it's a good thing, because Yahtzee, if I see a dice now, even to this point, I still get pissed off. I'm like, <sighs> immediately just feel claustrophobic. <sighs> oh, I can't say pissed. <laughs> or shit. You can get pissed, but you can't say pissed. Or I'm thin. <laughs> I mean, get pissed in like the Family Irish ball. sense, not the American sense. <laughs> yeah. Your, your bartender tonight, Patty Ryan, is an Irishman. One of these days we're gonna go to Ireland with him. He keeps telling us how awesome it is and we never go. I like that move. <laughs> so make sure you tip the Irishman tonight. Tip the Irishman. And he's a, you're, you're Protestant, not Catholic, right? Or you're Catholic. No, see, if I even get it wrong, like in just for a second, it's on. You don't give a shit.
Thank you. I believe I owe you $10. We cut each other's pay every gotcha. time we mess up. Gotcha. James Brown. Yeah. Whenever he'd be like, gotcha. That was really, he was docking the other musician's pay. Anytime we go. James Brown said, gotcha, and pointed. That means somebody missed a note. Gotcha. But then he was like, uh, no, me, so apparently I owe him 10 bucks. This next song is about sleep deprivation and uh, bidernal beats. This next tune here is, uh, our friend Sean titled the next tune we're about to play, actually. He did. We played this song, and he said, it was when we first wrote it, he said, what's that song, Big Dream? Like, okay, that's uh, a good title That's a good it. title. <laughs> You're like, no, no, it's like Big Dream, it's a twist. We're like, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Anyways, this song's called Big Dream. You're here with me. I'm 
know the whistle. Do the whistle. That's amazing. It's impressive. Coming to America. I I need to know how to do that. It's one of my favorite films. That's a great movie. It's a great film. Yeah. It's a wonderful film. <laughs> <laughs> the joke that the guy, the, the old man tells at the end of the movie? Remember the joke at the end of the movie? The shitty joke at the end of the movie. That the old man tells. Whenever Eddie Murphy's playing the old white man. I don't remember. I'm out. I'm not. Somebody Google it. Come on. Dave Morrow back here on the harmonica. This song's on our last CD, and uh, he played on there. He played on the CD.
He did. He killed it. Oh, oh yeah. Can't take the suit. Don't know. Tell Patty. Patty missed out. Uh, Sean figured out the joke. The joke it was about soup. Oh. What soup? I was actually totally content using the the knife. The knife. He seriously was like over there like I with a knife. I had a butter knife. knife and I was eating rice with it. Trying to shovel rice onto his knife. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave him my fork and I ate everything with a chip. What's the, what's about it worked the better than the knife. Yes. Yes.
couple teams left. A couple teams. Yeah. Um, that last song is a new one of ours. This next one is a new one of ours, too. That's kind of in response to that one. Yeah. 
Take a drink. <laughs> I love you, Andy. I love you. I never noticed that. So that's funny. Hey, I never noticed it either. It's been a lot of fun for a lot of months. Now that I know. I love it. But then I have to hold her hair while you puke. Oh my God. You guys hear what's going on? Apparently, we have a live album that was recorded at Fassler. <laughs> And apparently every time Desi says, thank you very much, they drink. That's a drinking game. Desi, what song you're welcome from now on? You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Nailed it. Nailed it. Winning. But I get cocky. I know. It's like if I feel attacked, and I could be like. That'd be so funny. 
You're welcome. Good night. That would be so awesome. I've got just enough of my older brother in me to pull that off. All I gotta do is just talk like him for a minute. You're welcome. Good night. That's totally my brother. My brother's like, yeah, man, totally. You're welcome. Good night. That's exactly what he said. If says. anybody wants to buy me a bean burrito after the show, you know where I'll be. His name's Josh. <laughs> Brothers obsessed with burritos. I, I I know it sounds like it's a made up thing, but it's it's real. I used to come home every night whenever I was still like I had I had some money from a car wreck I was in, and I was like so I always had weed and taco bueno. Right. And I'd come home every night with a big bag of bueno, and he'd be like, "What'd you give me?" Every time. <laughs> my, which my response always was, "Fuck you." That's what I got you. I hope you liked it. We're gonna do one more song. Good night. Take it easy. Then I spit on them and say, you're welcome. <laughs> 